The first thing you need to do in order to install MongoDB is to go to their download page, which I'm going to link down in the description below and the comments. Once you're here, you want to make sure you have the free edition of the community server selected, select your operating system, in my case it's going to be Windows, select the current release because that's going to be the most bug free and the most stable version, and then just click download here. Now that that's finished downloading, we have our setup wizard here, which we can just step through, and this is going to be very similar for Mac, Linux, and Windows. We just want to accept the terms and conditions, and here we just want to select a complete installation since we want all of the features. And this is where the really important parts are. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we check this box to install it as a service and let it run as a network service user. Essentially, what that does is it lets MongoDB run on your computer as a small background service so you don't have to manually start and stop your server every single time you start and stop your computer. We'll just keep the MongoDB service name the same and the data and log directories the same. Click Next, and then it'll ask you if you want to install MongoDB Compass. All this is is a graphical user interface for MongoDB. I'm not going to install it, but you can if you want to. Then we click Next and Install. Once that's finished installing, you want to open up your file explorer into that folder where you downloaded MongoDB, which on Windows by default is your main hard drive, Program Files, MongoDB. In here you'll have your server folder, which you just downloaded, the version you downloaded, and then you'll have bin, which is where all of your executables are. You're going to have data, which is where all of your database information will be stored, and logs, where all of your logs are going to be stored. To make sure everything's working, just open up the bin folder and run mongo.exe. This is going to be the command that will open up you to your database so that you can access it and use it. So here we can type in show databases and we can see all the databases that get shipped to the actual program by default. We can also use certain databases so we can say use new DB. And to make sure that everything works, we can insert something into this database. So we can just say db.items.insert. So we're going to create an item with the new name here. So we'll say name going to be just set to name, make it super easy, and we see that that worked. And we could do db.items.find, make sure we run that as a function, and you can see that it found that item that we just inserted, and if we type in show dbs again, you'll see our new bd is being shown up right down here. And that's all it takes to install MongoDB onto your computer. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out my other videos linked over here, and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.